humans that we have today were rescued from a development area where their habitat was being destroyed. We collected a couple dozen tadpoles and raised them. And these now are adults. They're happy campers. They've uh, found to their liking this little sand that we've put in here. You can see a couple have dug their way down to the bottom. This is about six inches. In nature, they can go possibly a yard deep to hang out for most of the year, waiting for the rains to come. So I'm going to dig him out. I'm going to disturb him a little bit. Don't want to hurt him. He's puffing up a little. Sorry. There he is, all dirty. He'll blink in a minute. We're going to turn him loose in this habitat. So he, she, participate in the egg laying. And um, in this area, we'll have tadpoles and adults next year. We're in spadefoot country here in the sage scrub. In the wintertime, the rains come, make puddles. Puddles dry up fast. This little guy needs to have that all figured out. Lays eggs in the ponds. The ponds dry up. But before that happens, these little critters, within a month, can go from egg to adult. Some desert species, that whole process of egg, tadpole, adult, can occur in uh, less than two weeks. This is the western spadefoot, little amphibian, sometimes called a spadefoot toad, but really it's more like a frog than a toad. Has a little greenish tinge. Has glands that have a secretion which smells very much like peanut butter. Some people have uh, skin rashes based on the little skin secretions. I haven't so far, but maybe this afternoon. See that little nocturnal eye with the slit up and down? That pupil can open wide so he can find his way around at night when things are cool and visual predators aren't out. The spade foot toad, here's the little spade on the hind foot uses that to dig down into the soil several feet. Spends most of his life in a hole in the soil. Waits for the rains to come. Here's the pitter-patter of the drops. Comes to the surface. There's a pond waiting for reproduction and egg laying. Gets the job done fast. Within a month, the whole process is done. Spadefoot toad. Here in the west, chaparral and sage scrub is the habitat. Vernal pools is the favorite place for the spadefoot to hang out. Kind of backing in there, it's cool. Look at that. Ah, uh, he's on his way. On his way. Our little spadefoot friend is now on his way to China. There should be a storm here in a week or so. If that's a male, he'll spend a lot of time calling. If that's a female, she will locate a male. They will mate. And many eggs will be laid in a pond or a puddle that only needs to last maybe six weeks to have the cycle work. 